Africa is like this. Here it is. Here's my country. And it stops there. On the edges. On the coast. Oh, on the coast. On the coast. We have the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. You can see a fish. from YouTube, from YouTube, 
years old. I will show you their faces. Okay. And this is a village in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa. And this says on the road to Port St. John's. There are spectacular hills and valleys on the road from Amdata to Port St. John's. Yes, you can see the beautiful scenery over there. Let's start the side. Ubona, umama, numtuana, mother and child, umama, numtuana. Tisoba uboso. Nabo buso bomtuana. Umtuana, a child. Eyebrows. something on your head is called ukutuwala 
over here we have a rickshaw boy a rickshaw boy a rickshaw boy in Durban this is what it looks like this is what it looks like rickshaw boys of this highly decorated type are a great attraction to visitors in Durban their days are numbered now as no new licenses are given to this occupation I think there still are rickshaw boys in Durban yeah. so to people living in Durban do they still make licenses nowadays or is it difficult to get one is it difficult to get one when you are a rickshaw boy holding the cart it's a cart it's a cart that is being driven by people by people dressed like this they're quite famous they're quite 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 famous you can book them they're quite famous once again we have mother and child but this time around not from the eastern cape but rather from kwazulu natal province of south africa they speak is zulu they are of the zulu culture uh, and she has a head um done he -he done and this is called amagodi or amanganga okay 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 she's married as you can see she's wearing a ring and holding her baby as they play they get dirty easily and it's super hot outside so to make things easier most mothers just let them be without any clothes and the kids just they play or run around the yard like this it's very 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 common and also it's not just around South Africa it's just a across the entire entire continent 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 where kids run around like this so yeah Zulu mothers the Zulus are a proud race whose warlike history has been influenced in the early days in Natal 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 anyway side we have the waterfalls the waterfalls the waterfalls where are they where are they they are in Howick Howick these are called Howick Falls Howick 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 Falls and they are a few miles away from Maritzburg Maritzburg Umgeni River and they lead to Umgeni River as you can as you can see let's move on to a different culture in South Africa a different culture in South Africa my, one of my favorite favorite cultures in the country is the Ndebele culture I absolutely love 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 this beautiful beautiful culture and they have very beautiful decorated and vibrant houses and love absolutely everything about the Ndebele culture I went somewhere and the theme was to wear to wear your country's culture and I was like oh South Africa has so many different cultures and I love and adore and appreciate the 
Billy culture. When I went to the shop, I did not get umpato. I got a beautiful, beautiful Billy dress and I wore it instead. Absolutely love it. And I will try to put a picture of their beautiful homes in color because the black and white doesn't quite do it justice. This is a Debele home in the background as you can see and Debele home in the background and their cultural outfits normally come in this patterns and colors as well. Hence the dress I was wearing kind of looks like this home too. And after that we have Ndebele lady. Ndebele lady dressed in the Ndebele cultural outfit. They mostly wear in Imbi Imkalini that elongate their necks and also on their arms and legs. They mostly wear in Imbi. And in the Kosa culture, we normally wear beads, but in the Ndebele, they normally wear in Imbi. Let me just try to see him. If you can, and yeah, as her, let's see what it says. Ndebele woman, the village of the Ndebele tribe, lie on the veld all around Pretoria. The woman paint the walls of their huts with colorful designs reminiscent of Aztec decoration as I have explained to you guys beautiful beautiful culture love love the Debele culture this look like Miss Bless we learned about Miss Bless at school. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We learned about Miss Bless in biology. And this is what Miss Bless looks like. Miss Bless looks like. You are Madame Isporch. Isporch. what is called a ghost but um, it's in our cultures usually like if you see a dead body or something like that it's also just called a spoch spoch is a ghost, ghost skeleton dead body anything like that Miss Bless can be found at the Transvaal Museum in Pretoria Transvaal Museum in Pretoria and it's, she's not a human being she's actually an ape that lived many 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 years ago and it just looks like a subhuman so that's why she or he is famous so that's what Miss Bliss looked like to show how subhumans or apes looked like back in the day. Back in the day, back in the day, back in the day, back in the day. And where was she found actually? She was found in the cave near Krugersdorp. In Krugersdorp, Krugersdorp, Krugersdorp. Um, so yeah, we transfer. Over here we have Zulu man. Over here we have Zulu man. The Zulu tribe, Zulu man. As you can see him. They are dancing. 
dancing obviously and yeah it says Zulu war dance Zulu war dance the war dance is the dance that was performed in the old days to exhort the warriors to war and infuse them with courage oh wow Nanga Gaba Zulu Bayatanisa Abesulu Bayatanisa Naniawabon Abesulu Betanisa Maskil located between Pretoria and Johannesburg there's a young lady who is making beadwork as you can see she's making beadwork traditional beadwork to sell to people she is sitting along the road sitting along the road to sell her beadwork this is a beadwork the final product of what she's selling so people can come see her work and then purchase something if they like it and there's a cow at the back over there in Como eating grass so yeah liked it, liked it.